So welcome back students to one more session of your assets and basis, assets, basis and solves chapter, right? So here we have done in the previous video, what actually is an asset? What actually is a base? What are common in assets, all right? Okay. Now here in this video, we'll be doing, uh, and after that you've also seen what is the effect means, what happens when you pass dry HCl gas right and the moist litmus paper or dry litmus paper right so here uh, that is a heading what happens when acids and bases are added to water that's okay now in this particular video that is ncrt 2.10 we'll be learning the topic that is acids are corrosive in nature so let us see that what is this acids rather bases also are corrosive in nature okay so what is this corrosive in nature so here nothing whenever you're going to the lab first important thing what do you see important is you need to wear a lab coat that's important second thing you need to use the tongs or the handle to hold the test tube we call it as tongs or the handle the test tube holder also to hold it so that it will not burn most of the acids remember whenever you go to the lab first thing you need to see when you take a bottle to use an acid bottle or a base, bot uh, base bottle you need to see that is there any symbol hazardous symbol on that so if the acid is corrosive in nature there will be a symbol which is placed or label will be there which is red in color which will say this is hazardous or corrosive that means when a small drop of sulfuric acid or HCl which are strong acids when they drop on your hand immediately it will eat up the upper layer of the skin so you need to remember wearing lab coat is one holding the test tubes with the test tube holder is two and point number three whenever you are using an acid bottle you need to see this acid as well as the base also strong bases you need to see is there any symbol or the red corrosive or the hazardous symbol which is there so the end of this video i'll be giving a small animated video where you will see all the hazardous symbol which will be mentioned on the acid bottle base so here important when it is said it is hazardous or corrosive in nature heating away you need to use a dropper to take the acid. That's the safest thing. At the end of the drop, An Academy, the biggest online platform, learning platform in India. Let's crack it. I'm Vani Potepalli, the verified educator for grade 12 students. CBSE, ICSE, as well as state board students are with me. For free students. The upcoming classes are doubt clearing session every Monday and Tuesday. Special classes include tips to learn general organic chemistry, tricks to perform chemistry board practicals, mind maps for organic and inorganic chemistry and quiz that too along with the fun facts of grade 11 students please join me in the special classes and enjoy the sessions this these are the unacademy plus subscription features where you have daily practice, practice sessions mock tests which are going on live quizzes which will be going on subjective test series coming soon Join us. An Academy iconic subscription features include personal mentors. You have li live doubt clearing sessions. Weekly reports will be sent to the parents. Parent co connect where the report will be sent to the parent and the educators are in contact with the parents too. A study planner is perfectly planned and all benefits of plus also will come under iconic. Mani 10 and Mani Life is my referral code. These are the subscription rates for 11 and 12 plus iconic subscription. Rates are given. Please check the rate students. Vani 10 and Vani Life is my referral code again to mention. These are grade 12 subscription for the plus and grade 12 subscription for the iconic. You can choose for one month, three months also because you still have 100 days for the board examination of students. Join me there. An academy presence for grade 10 students. A very important and beautiful competition. Just check the details. The most challenging battle, an academy combat to level up your preparations and practice for the CBSC grade 10 board examination students. It's for both maths and science subjects would be undertaken. Now I'll tell you the timings, the competition, where you stand in the leaderboard all over India. So an academy combat, revise, practice and win. Get set to is the CBSC 10th board examination students. A chance to assess your progress and take part in a fun challenge. So this revised practice and win, the score, 
leaderboard, rating and awards. There are a lot and lot to win students. Let us see the details. Please try to participate in the competition. Let's see with the syllabus. Katen combat format would be 40 minutes experience in your life. 30 super questions, 6 combats, negative scoring, English and Hindi language both are available. Detailed video solutions also would be there after the competition. Combat timelines would be combat 1, 31st January, subjects are max and signs in all the uh, uh, combats. So from combat 1 till combat 6, the date is scheduled. We are there with you till your board examinations. So note the start date students, 31st January till 11th April. All the dates as mentioned, note the date, note the timings and also note the subjects. Right. So combat syllabus as per NCRT, that the, that's the updated 2021 syllabus. Math syllabus and science syllabus is given here students. Note the topics and get prepared for the competition. Detailed video solutions by the best educators would be given. So once your competition is done, you will know what are the solutions for the questions asked to. So know how well uh, do you perform for the among the thousand learners in India, live competition students participate. So your questions would be given to you that is going to test your understanding of concepts and how you are going to apply the concepts in the application is going to be tested in this competition. Enroll now in the Unacademy Combat. Use the code Unacademy. So what you need to do, download the app from Google Play Store and you can register today students but don't forget to use the referral code Unacademy and the most exciting. So rank 1 students are going to get 12 months Unacademy CBSE class 11 plus subscription. Wow. And the second prize winner would be getting 6 months of 11th class subscription. Rank 3 students will be getting 6 months Unacademy CBSE grade 11 subscription. And along with that, so plus you would be there in the plus platform enjoying all the features. Rank 4 to 50 will be getting 1 month Unacademy CBSE class 11 plus subscription students. So look at the prizes. So note students, Unacademy, the first combat competition is on January 31st, 2021, time 11 a.m. There's a rubber so, rubber cork sort of thing which you can press it to suck the acid. Never use or suck the acid or the base with the pipette. Remember, if it goes, it will eat up the inner layer of your throat. So, acids which have this hazardous symbol, which I'll be showing in the animated video, you need to remember three things. First, wear, lab coat, Second, use test tube holder. Third, use dropper for such acids. What are the different acids which you should be careful with? HCl, compulsory. Sulfuric acid, compulsory. Nitric acid, compulsory. Acetic acid, okay, little bit dilute, but you need to be careful. Acetic acid comes into the dilute category, CH3COOH. Carbonic acid, it also comes into the dilute category. So you need to be very, very careful and observe this. If I have to take a base, sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, strong bases, you need to be very careful. Ammonium hydroxide, calcium hydroxide, all these are weak. But you need to follow first, second, third important measures to see Remember what happens. Here when I say strong acid, these strong acids, they completely dissociate and they create or they make a hole in your skin. You test it on the cloth also. I've seen students playing in the lab. Very dangerous it is. So this is the strong base. This is the weak base. Yes. So let us see the animated video which is there at the end. Which will make you understand the precautionary measures. Right. Now let's see one question which they are uh, they ask you most frequently in this topic. 
if your teacher is about the examiner or your teacher is asking you this question very simple to answer let's see why okay let us not start with why are assets stored in metal containers this is the question which they may ask you so remember never assets are stored in metal containers why as i said just now because of their corrosive nature let us write that no assets are not stored in metal containers why because they are they are corrosive in nature or they are hazardous so where should i store the asset uh, this one the basic basically they are stored in ceramic containers ceramic containers or the glass containers which will not corrode so but they they means the assets can be stored in ceramic or glass containers so this is your answer which you can note it for that question if they ask you can i store it you can say no what under what will you underline because they are corrosive they are stored in ceramic or glass containers